you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hi viewers in this video i will be showing you how to insert tables in a latex document in the previous video i have already shown how to insert references and equations in a latex document so in this particular video we will be focusing on the method to insert tables in the latex document so first of all we will start with the basic document structure in order to insert table in a latex document first of all we need to insert the begin table and end table commands so for this we will be writing begin table followed by end table and inside this begin table and end table inside this environment first of all we will specify the label of this particular table for this we will use the label command and here we specify the identifier let's say i am using it as table 1 after that we will be specifying the placement of the text so here i am using centering which means that the text will be centered in all the boxes of the table now the next one is specifying the caption so we will use the command caption and for example the title is sample table after the caption we will be moving in another environment which is tabular for this we will use the command begin tabular and followed by end tabular now inside this document first of all we will specify how many columns we need to insert in this particular table so for example we have to insert three columns then for this i will be using c three times c c and c so writing c three times will be uh, necessary to insert three columns in the table and the command c will automatically adjust the width of each cell corresponding to the length of the text inside that box now after that if we want to insert horizontal lines after each row then the command for that one is backslash h line so this backslash h line will insert a horizontal line after each row now after this command we will be specifying the contents of the first row so for example i write name in the first box and this and operator is going to separate different columns so for example in the next column i am going to write age in years and in the third column again add uh, separated by and operator let's say i write height in centimeter now we will use new line operator which will start the second row and remember we need to insert backslash h line for placing horizontal line now we are in the second row so for example in the second row i place a name let's say john and the second column in the second column let's say i place a number 19 as the age and in the third column i will be writing the height for example 170 and again new line operator so this is the second row so this second row is completed over here now we have backslash h line again and the third row this completes our uh, syntax of basic table containing three rows and three columns now we run this piece of code to see what is the output pdf and here you see this is the generated pdf containing three rows and three columns and this table has horizontal rows after each row but not the vertical rows now to insert vertical lines inside the table we will use this separator in between each c like this so at the start and at the beginning and in between each c we write this vertical separator now i run it now you see this is the generated table and it it contains both the horizontal lines and vertical lines now the second part of this video is how to adjust the width of each row manually so to adjust the width manually we will use p operator uh, instead of c so 
like this. So you see the first two columns have fixed row width of 3 cm and the last column has fixed row width of 5 cm. Now you run it. So you see now in the generated table, you can see that the first row, first two columns uh, have lesser row width as compared to the last one and this width is fixed by the command P. But now there is a problem when we use this command and the problem is you can see that the text inside each column is not centered. To make it centered, we will modify this command. So we will use array package after the document class. And after this use package line, we will be using another command which is given by this line. So you will use this command as it is in order to uh, center the text inside each column. And another change that need to be done is after the begin tabular command here, you will replace this lowercase p with uppercase p. So you see, this is the generated PDF. All the other settings are the same, but all the three columns are now centered. So this is the method to insert table in a latex document. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to our channel for more videos.